Monday morning to be precise. Um, I'm about to head out on a ride. I want to do about three hours today because that's what's in my training schedule and I'm going on holiday tomorrow for a week so I'm kind of packing in the miles this week and then I'm just going to have a complete rest, a proper rest. I'm not even taking my bike on holiday, it's going to be really really weird. But today I'm going to head out on my new bike which Marin have just sent over for me. It's the Pine Mountain which is so cool. So I'm going to show you that now uh, and tell you what I'm going to do to modify it because you guys know I just can't help but mod all my bikes. Uh, then I'm going to load up on some snacks and head out on the trails. I'm going to show you a really nice, really um, easy local loop that I like doing that's mainly on cycle paths. It's just super chill and I feel lucky to have it so I figured I'd share it with you guys. Somebody wants feeding, I suspect. Here it is, the Pine Mountain. Uh, this bike, I think in its first iteration, came out in the 90s, um, but they've updated it and re-released it, so this is the result. Do you reckon there are enough mounts on it? I mean, seriously guys, that's kind of crazy. I might see how many bottle cages I can fit on that. It has got these rather cool bars, but I'm gonna swap them for something else. Um, I've just ordered some new bars, sorry Marin. Uh, I've put on my favorite Brook saddle. This saddle uh, I rode on my honeymoon when I went cycle touring with Dave in Japan. So it's much loved and cherished. These are really cool. These are the new uh, DMR Versa pedals. So they're flat on one side and you can clip in on the other side. I really like those for this kind of bike because I'm going to be doing um, a bit of touring. I'm going to be hooking up my daughter's trailer to it. I'm going to be doing some cafe rides. I'll probably do a little bit of bike packing. So it's kind of a do it all bike. I'm going to change the fork. I'm going to change the bath, but I think the rest of it I'm going to leave as it is. I decided that I wanted to put some bike packing bags on this, mainly because I want to take a flask and something nice to eat on my ride. Uh, but I've run into that perennial problem that I have with fitting bike packing bags on my bikes. So I've got this lovely Caradise bag. It's very hard to hold this camera and show you the bag. But anyway, it's super cool, right? So I decided I was going to put this lovely bag on my... Oh, I just heard a hiss and I thought it was my tire going down, but it's the washing machine. I decided I'm going to put this lovely Caradies bag onto my Brook saddle so I can take nice things to eat and drink with me on the ride. But look, if I put this on there, it touches the wheel. Oh, it's just always an issue with bike packing bags. Thinking about it, actually, I've just had an idea. I know Dave's got some Skin Grows Back bags upstairs, so I'm going to go pinch one of those. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to take a flask, but I can at least fit some maxi muscle stuff and this really nice waffle that I've bought myself in there and then we can finally go. <laughs> it's got a lipstick in it from last time. Oh, that's the last time I nicked it off him. Right then. I don't know if that's right, but I could put food in it. Tools. Oh, the pump. Right. I'm trying to do something here, Puscat. Cinnamon waffle going in. This is why I needed the big bag because it's enormous. These are amazing. Maxi muscle, lemon, natural bar. Oh, they're so good. Oh my goodness, this cat. I've just let her out. Now she wants to come in again. <sighs> Let's go ride bikes. Check the forecast and this is not on the cards, what the? It's finally, finally stopped raining. It's not that I mind riding in the rain, I don't. I just don't really like it when it's unexpected because I would have worn something else and it's not really the ride I was gearing up for. I was planning on taking a flask and having a picnic. So I know weather forecasting is not a precise science, but that was torrential. Anyway, I'm not complaining, merely observing. <laughs> but back to the bike. Well, it feels super nice so far, but one slight error on my part. I think I ordered the wrong size. I've had to put the seat all the way up 
to the uh, minimum insertion mark. I mean, I tend to think if you've got the seat all the way up to either max or min, then the bike's the wrong size. Oh, how embarrassing. Hi! Hi! Hi <laughs> Um, so I think I've probably got the wrong size bike. Also, I think the stem is way too short for the kind of riding that I'm going to do. Look, look at that stubby little number. I, I don't think I've ever seen such a short stem. I'm going to stop gassing, do a bit more riding now it's not uh, raining, and hopefully I'll dry out a bit and then uh, I can stop for a little break and eat my waffle and watch Maxi Russell Bar. <laughs> is the National Trust, a place called Park in Bobby Tracy. It's like the gateway to Dartmoor. And it's really lovely. There's this cycle path running through it. No traffic, nice and flat. I love it. Mm. This is very pleasant. <laughs> Last time I did this route, I was on my cross country bike with some guys from a cycling club and I was riding at Threshold and I was dying. So I didn't get to enjoy the scenery quite as much, but I did get the queen in the mountain. Oh, babies. Oh, hello. Well, this is pretty much the end of the really idyllic trail. Um, you know, the silly thing is, I can't actually remember what it's called. I think it starts off as, oh my God, I can't remember what it's called. The new bit up to Morton Hampstead is called the Ray Valley Trail, but I don't know what the whole thing is called. Anyway, check it out. It's really nice. It goes from Newton Abbott to Bobby Tracy and then up to Morton Hampstead. Um, the, the little town of Morton Hampstead is just there. I'm not gonna pop up that hill because I want to go home, I've got some other stuff to do, but it's really been such a lovely ride and I'm really liking the bike. I'm going to roll on back and then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I'm nearly home, so I'm going to pull over and let's have a little final look at this lovely bike. She is pretty, check, fun, check really cool check so yeah a lot of good things to say about this bike the geometry is great i found it really really comfortable i'd say the stem is too short really for this bike well for me anyway so maybe it's okay for other people but for me this stem is just way too short the bars that i was going to change actually i like so maybe they're gonna stay uh what else well um gearing i guess the top speed isn't as top as I would like it to be. You do run out of gears a little bit quickly. Tires, not much to say about them because I'm going to change them. They're fine. Uh, the fork, well, I rode it locked out because I'm going to change it to a rigid, but it's a perfectly decent fork. I mean, the bike is £1,245, which I think is a complete bargain. So it's not light, but you get an awful lot for your money. I just think it's a really, really fun bike. I, I like it a lot. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to many more fun adventures, adventures on it. So I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Uh, Dave and my daughter have just got back from a weekend away and I can't wait to see them. So uh, I'm gonna go home. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions about the bike, leave them in the comments. Let me know if you wanna know more about the route. Um, but other than that, I'm off on holiday tomorrow and I can't wait. Hope you guys have a good week too. And see you later, bye.